Hi, David Council from Inferno Marketing and Design, and this is another Inferno email update. Now, in a moment, we're going to talk about five ways you can sell with social media. But before we get started, let me just remind you about referrals. And don't forget, you should be asking for referrals as well. If you know someone who could use our help at Inferno Marketing and Design, then please put them in touch with us. Uh, or, for that matter, put us in touch with them. And everybody that we talk to that comes to us from a referral, we pass back to the referee a bottle of red wine as a thank you, regardless of whether they become a client of ours or not. And don't forget, we're not about hassling people. If we talk to them and we can't help them, we'll probably just give them some free advice and send them on their way. But most of the people that we talk to uh, end up becoming clients of ours. And we thank everybody who's helped us. I'd like to say thank you to Brett Sharp from Sharp's Carpet Cleaning. Now, we're already dealing with Brett, so his referrals come by the way of another business that he owns. You see, he owns a business called Force 10 Fishing Charters, fabulous fishing charter if you ever want to go out fishing uh, on the high seas. Uh, but he also owns Sharp's Carpet Cleaning. And uh, this week, we've taken over his website uh, as well and uh, helping him get that back on track. So thanks very much for that, Brett. Now, let's talk about five ways your business can sell using social media. Method number one, incorporate a clear call to action. Now, people go to your website for a number of reasons. Some people go there just to get your phone number. Others go there to find out information, get tips or tricks. Look, there's so many different reasons, but what you've got to do is look at your business and work out what the unique reasons they're going to your website are, and then incorporate a clear call to action. After all, what you want is to get a transaction or get their details from them so that you can have a relationship with their business. So make sure you've got some mechanism in place to get a clear call to action from them so that you can extend your relationship beyond giving them your phone number or giving them some free information. A really easy way to do that is with an autoresponder. If you don't have an autoresponder on your website, Give us a call at Inferno Marketing Design and uh, we'll help you out with that one. Number two, convey a clear sense of urgency. So not only do you want to call them to action, but you want them to do it now. So it's very important that the words that you use on your website urge them to do what you need them to do as fast as you possibly can. That way, they won't go cold on making the purchase. So do it now, buy it now, for a limited time, uh, strictly limited numbers, all of these things are really important when it comes to making the words work for you on your website. So don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask for the actual purchase. After all, if you're going to put a wishy-washy message up there, you're giving your customer a chance to walk away from the sale. Number three, offer your followers or fans an exclusive deal. Now you can do this through your website, through your Facebook page, through Twitter, through any form of social media but offer them an exclusive deal. This is one that's not available if they walk into your shop, because after all, you've already driven them to your website, so make them an offer that they can only access off your social media and give it to them in a way that makes them feel exclusive and makes them feel special. Number four, encourage sharing. Now, on all social media, there's a way to share any information that you put up there, and it's important that you get your fans and followers to share your information. Just like asking for referrals in your business, you should also ask them to share your information using social media. That's the way you can um, get the multiplier effect of social media to work best for you. And if you're not asking for it, then most people won't give it a lot of thought and therefore not do it. So make sure you ask your fans to share your post. And while I'm mentioning it, if you're looking at this post on social media, how about sharing it with your friends? Method number five, keep all of your social media platforms up to date. Now, this might seem like it's a real no-brainer, but social media does change fairly regularly. So it's really, really important that you keep all of your social media platforms up to date with all of the latest information about what you're doing in your business and also uh, about your business. Um, for example, if you've changed the uh, opening hours on your business, make sure you update that information on your social media platform. After all, it's a method to get them to your business. So you want, them, you want them to know when you're open. Any information along that line, it's important to keep it up to date and it takes so little time to do it. Anyway, there's five ways that you can sell using social media. 
I'm David Council from Inferno Marketing and Design. If you need help with your advertising or you know someone, don't forget to refer them through to us. Um, and you can always give me a call on 0362-344-588 or go to our website and send us an email. You'll find us at infernopromotions.com.au. Until next time, I'll see you later.